The following show features work carried out by an individual who employs shoddy and dangerous practices in his work, which are presented only for entertainment. William is a dangerous, handsome fool. Don't be cool like William. Have your cars and equipment repaired and maintained by professionals. Clean the bearing, I've got the bearings out. Cleaned them up reasonably well with flat wheel on the drill. Well, they've come up, I mean, they're not great, but they're alright. So, this is the bearing that goes on the outside, and it has a seal over the top of it. And I'm just going to kind of carefully drift it in with a socket that's just the right size to go inside the hole, but not to go through the bearing. You've got to be careful, you don't want to get it cockled over. There's no like really defined room that it goes into. Keep checking it against the seal that goes on the outside. Get that seal on it. Okay. You tell me it's only natural. You just need the breath. Do you fucking get it? I don't want to overdrive it. Maybe just knock it in a little more. I think that's fair enough. That. See it, put it in there. Mm. I might just drive it in a little bit more. So yeah, there's enough room there for the seal, so I'm gonna call it a day at that. She can just sit like that, that one. Really gentle with the seal, I don't want to knock it. Good thing is, I'm only doing one side, and I've got bearings and seals for both sides, so if I do knock it, a job up. Not the end of the world. Right, so yeah, there you go, that's the inside of it. Now I've got to put the bearing in this end. This bearing is easy to know when you stop driving it in because it's got a collar on it. So you can, you can only drive it in so far. Now, I've had a bit of a... Where I've been digging the old bearing out, I've done some damage to the actual casting. So I've had to go get in there with a file and smooth it all off because I don't want to cause any problem. I think it's about right. But it was in a really shit state in there. And I kept cleaning it until this offered up reasonably. Reasonably nice. Going in straight. You got your new bearings and your thing. Got a little bit of mucking and that's not a good start, is it? No. <sighs> Kung Fu mechanics. Right, so we're back out. We're back out in the garden. A oh, little street. And the last thing we did was install the cleaned out the, the um, trailer now. I keep wanting to call it a swinging arm because I'm used to be a motorbike guy. It's a tough having a father who's a multi-media star. Right, so 
basically we've got to clean this up. There's, there's still a bit of the old bearing left on there. Look. You can see it. Like it's an old seal or something. It won't come off because of all the crud. So, to that end, we've got this. Belts under the things. So I'm going to like soak it WD-40 and do it like SpongeBob drying his ass with a towel. And uh, I brought our old friend, my modern up-to-date drill, with the flat wheels in it. So I've got it pretty much cleaned up. As you see, there's a lot of corrosion on there. It's not going to be all shiny like I want it to be. I just hope the fucker slides on easy. I'll put plenty of grease on and see what happens. So the seat bearings are in place. We've got still clean racing grease on them. That's the hole that gave me all the trouble. I'll put copper grease in that and the off chance that anyone ever wants to take it apart again. And then it's the other side, so they're all nicely greased up. grease on the end of the torsion bar which is really the spring for this car and ordinary racing grease on the I don't know what you call that stub it's not an axle well stub axle yeah whatever I, I just shot this fucking video and I wasn't rolling I'm fucking useless right so look she's back in that's the end of the stub there We've got the, you can see that going in on its spline, that spring bar, torsion bar, just push all that copper grease through the little washer, which I never fucking got, I never managed to move by the way. This measurement here, is eight inches which remember that's what we, we measured it at with the anti-roll bar out eight inches ARB out next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to slide the anti-roll bar in from the other end leave this plate off that goes here I'm going to attach the plate at the other end of the anti-roll bar to the other swinging arm.